What up? I love old school music, fam. All right, so today we're talking about some real behind-the-scenes drama from one of our favorite shows back in the day, What's Happening? Now, I don't know about y'all, but I had no idea that some serious tension was going on with the cast back in the day. According to what Ernest Lee Thomas, who played Raj on What's Happening, stated in Cue the Bunny on the Rainbow, a memoir by the sitcom's director, Alan Rafkin. But before we jump into this story, go ahead and hit that like button and tap that notification bell to subscribe so you don't miss out on more of this classic content. Okay, so Ernest told it all about how some folks are still mad at him to this day for attending Fred rerun Barry's funeral. Even though Fred apologized for his actions before he passed, it seems like there are still some who hadn't forgiven him by the time of his passing, which tells us those wounds he reportedly created cut hella deep. So here's the backstory that caused all the tension. Back when the show became a hit, Fred Berry, who played Rerun, reportedly found out that the white actors on the show were being paid more than him. And y'all know he wasn't having that. He convinced Ernest and the rest of the cast to join him in walking off set to demand higher pay. The network gave them a little raise, but as we know, the drama didn't end there. According to Alan Rafkin, the director of the show, Fred kept pushing his demands, and eventually, the network had enough and canceled the show. Rafkin put it this way. Eventually, the producers simply had enough of the boys' antics, and they closed the series down. But Ernest remembers things going a little differently, stating, there's a mystery over that. I remember distinctly that they had a meeting and wanted the entire cast to meet with all of the producers. And they said, Fred Berry tells us that you think we're racist, so we don't want you working for racists, and we're going to cancel the show. That's what I remember. Fred was very happy, even at that meeting. He didn't take it back and say, no, they really didn't say it. I was the one who said it. He said, no, you know you all said it. So they thought he really was telling the truth, he said. The show's final episode, in its original form, ran in April 1979. But after the success of The Cosby Show in 84, networks came a-calling again for sitcom with black stars and revived the show to call it What's Happening Now. And you guessed it, supposedly, Fred Rerun Barry eventually made higher pay demands for a third time, which ultimately affected his co-stars' jobs as well. Years later, Rerun apologized for his actions, and eventually Ernest forgave Rerun for supposedly being the cause of what's happening's cancellation. He revealed this. Fred did apologize for all of that stuff toward the end of his life. Even when he passed away, people didn't want me to go to the funeral. There are people who are still upset with me for going to his funeral. But to me, there's a thing called forgiveness. When someone asks you for forgiveness, there's no reason to keep something going. I went to the funeral because he expressed that he was sorry, Ernest explained. This is proof that mistakes, bad decisions, and bitterness can last a lifetime, and there is no time limit on forgiveness. That's just the way it is. Unfortunately, our beloved rerun's actions cost others their livelihoods at the time, causing their careers to take major blows at that time. So it's understandable why it was so difficult for them to forgive him. On the flip side, the truth is that none of us are perfect. So it's great that Rerun and Ernest were able to squash their beef before his untimely passing. And maybe, just maybe, Ernest Lee Thomas kind of felt the same as Rerun. After all, he did go along with the walkout on the first two occasions. So, what do y'all think? Was Ernest right to forgive Fred and attend his funeral, even though others were still upset? Let me know in the comments. And before we wrap, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you tap that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we drop more old school gems like this one. Thanks for watching I Love Old School Music, bringing you old school news with a new point of view. Peace.